Hey plant gang, I'm standing in front of a plant that you actually don't see very much anymore, and that's the straight species of Euonymus elatus. Uh, now typically in the home landscape or a landscape situation, you're gonna see different cultivars of this plant, in particular Euonymus elatus compactus, which is a smaller dwarf version of what I have behind me. This is commonly referred to as burning bush. It's called burning bush because it gets wonderful, outstanding fall color. Uh, this is a very popular landscape plant, in particular in the Great Plains and in the Midwest. However, it has exhibited some invasive characteristics, and so it has lost popularity because here in Tennessee, it's actually invaded some of our native woodlands, uh, and this is a non-native plant. And so you want to be careful when you plant it. We are seeing some emergence of sterile cultivars coming onto the landscape market right now, and you need to be aware of some of those. Uh, but this plant, uh, the straight species of Euonymus elatus, does get quite large, 15 to 20 foot high, spreading out. 12 to say 15 to 17 foot wide depending on the situation. Uh, we're standing here on the edge of a parking lot where it's allowed to kind of grow and do its thing. It's a large shrub to a very small tree. Uh, basically kind of a green meatball or a, just a green shrub until uh, it really comes on in the fall with its flaming red fall color. Uh, the, f the flowers are a little bit indescript. Uh, you, don't, uh, you don't really pay attention to them very much. Uh, it is deciduous, uh, and as we zoom in on the stems, you're going to see some interesting characteristics that are going on with the stems of this plant that are great for ID purposes. So let's learn how to ID this plant. Uh, you can see, uh, not as easily here, but it is op uh, the leaves are simple. They're oppositely arranged on the stem. They have very fine serrations. They're, they're kind of long and elliptical. Uh, let's say just about an inch long uh, and about a half an inch wide. Uh, one of the best ID characteristics is, in particular on the new growth, you've got green stems that are covered in what are referred to as corky protuberances. Corky protuberances on the stem. Uh, and this is where a lot of times you see it get its name winged euonymus uh, because of these uh, appendages, appendages on the stem that are kind of corky and give a little bit of texture. Now this is kind of cool in the winter time when the, the plant loses its foliage uh, and it can also be kind of a cool standout feature. Now this plant again is a deciduous shrub. It's hardy from zones four through eight. Uh, it is uh, seen quite a bit on invasive species lists because it is native to northeastern Asia to middle, uh, to middle central China. Uh, here is a landscape tip. This shrub produces excellent fall color, could be used as a specimen or an accent. Be aware of sterile cultivars as they come available on the market.